Hello everyone and welcome back to another NFL video. In this video, I'm giving my Joey Porter Jr. scanning a port, so let's get into it. The corner out of Penn State is most comfortable when he's in press man coverage. He's very aggressive at the line of scrimmage. He can disrupt the route using his size and length. He also has good play strength to go along with that. Now, his hand placement on the jam is pretty faulty, I would say. He also has slow footwork, which causes him to fall behind. Same with his hip work, slow, which causes slow transitions. He's not very patient in engagements. He overcommits his hips, which ma makes him fall for the you know fake route by the receiver when they you know try to fake wh which direction they're running. You know what when they're breaking. He can easily stay with the receiver when he actually locks hands with them. You know you know makes it tough for the receiver to get off of him. This also leads to PIs though. He's generally a grabby corner. He commonly does it when he's actually trailing in coverage. He has good instincts in zone, however. He can read and react fastly. He seems to actually miss finishing on plays, but can at least get into position. He does lack ball skills, only one career interception in college. Now in his defense, he more so goes for the SWAT rather than the actual interception. He doesn't play off man often, and it's not his fit anyway. He's a good tackler, I gave him a grade of 8.5 out of 10. He goes low and mostly has good technique. He can fight his way off blocks and has good effort to help finish up plays. I see Porter as an early second to maybe for late first round talent. He'll probably go in the teens though and will start soon if not right away in the NFL. He doesn't have high end athleticism and he's grabby but can hold his own in man coverage and is a good tackler. I don't think he has top 15 cornerback upside in the actual league but he can hold down a starting job for up to a decade in the league. Now for the games I watched, ranked best to worst, Auburn 2021, Ohio State 2022, Auburn 2022, Minnesota 2022, and Mich Michigan 2022, and Purdue 2022. Now Purdue, depending on who you ask, it's you know either a very good game by him or a very bad game, but to me, it was a very bad game by him. Um, you know, but the thing about you know Porter is before I actually watched the film, you know, I, I heard a lot about him, the type of player he is, but when I actually like watched the film and you know, read up on what people think about him it's more up and down really you know you have some people saying he's like uh, a lot locked down corner one um you know great you know one of the best in the draft then then you have some who are saying um, he's bad and he only grabs and if he wasn't grabbing on every play he get beat so you know it's pretty up and down actually when you really get into the you know porter jr you know conversations um, i'm not really a big fan of him but you know continuing on never possible teams i have three teams as i mentioned that are in the teens I think he'll go to one of, one of these teams. If not, I do have a team that he might just fall to the 20s that I'll might, you know, really like to take him. The Commanders, the Steelers, the Lions. Pick 16, 17, 18 right then and there. All could take him. Commanders need corner desperately. The Steelers, I mean, you know, they, the whole thing with, you know, his dad played for the Steelers. One, one of the couple, um, few teams he played for. But then the Lions at 18. If they don't take corner at 6, which it looks like that pick might be D-line. Then I think 18, they can come back and get a corner. This would be a great pick, really. Great value. You still get a high-end corner in the draft. And you get probably a good deal at 6th overall. And then just in case he falls to the 20s, I think Baltimore at 22 will take him. Like, they're looking at a bunch of different places. I think corner's one of them. And I think if Porter's there, that's going to make a pretty, you know, convincing, you know, argument to, you know, let's take Porter, you know. Corner 3 in the draft for most people, he's on the board. But anyway, that was my Joy Porter Jr. scouting report. I'm Marto, and thank you for watching.